Every year after age 50, your muscles begin to vanish quietly, slowly, and dangerously. No loud alarms, no instant pain, just a gradual decline in strength, balance, and energy that you barely notice until one day you can't rise from a chair without effort. This isn't just normal aging, it's a warning sign of sarcopenia, the silent muscle thief that affects millions of older adults. And the worst part, most people do absolutely nothing about it until it's too late. But what if there was a way to fight back? What if, instead of getting weaker, you got stronger? Today, we're diving into a powerful topic that can literally transform your health after 50 creatine versus protein. What should seniors take for optimal health? And no, this isn't just for bodybuilders or athletes. It's about you, your mobility, your independence, and your energy. Let's find out which one your aging body really needs, or if you should be taking both. Let's begin by understanding why seniors lose muscle in the first place. Once you hit your 50s, your body's muscle-building hormones like testosterone, growth hormone, and insulin-like growth factor start to drop. Combined with less physical activity and lower appetite, your muscles begin to shrink. This condition is called sarcopenia, and research shows that the average person loses 1-2% to of muscle mass every year after 50. By the time you're 70, that could mean up to 30% of your muscle is gone. But this isn't just about aesthetics. Muscle is vital for more than strength. It supports your joints, keeps your balance, powers your heart, and even protects your brain. Losing it increases your risk of falls, fractures, frailty, and hospitalization. And here's the alarming part. Most seniors have no idea this is happening until they get injured or become dependent on others for daily tasks. Now, to protect and rebuild that muscle, you need the right tools. Two of the most talked about options today are creatine and protein. But which one should you be taking, or do you need both? To answer that, we must understand how each one works, especially for the aging body. Let's start with protein. Protein is your body's building block. It's made of amino acids that repair tissue, support immunity, and build muscle. Every part of your body, from your muscles and bones to your skin and organs, needs protein daily to function. But as you age, your body doesn't process protein as efficiently. That means you need more of it just to maintain what you already have. According to research, seniors should aim for 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So, if you weigh 70 kilograms or about 154 pounds, that's roughly 84 to 105 grams of protein every day. That's a lot more than just a couple of eggs or a small piece of chicken. But most seniors don't eat enough due to smaller appetites, chewing difficulties, or just not feeling hungry in the morning. And that shortfall leads to even faster muscle loss, poor wound healing, immune weakness, and fatigue. That's where protein supplements come in. These powders are an easy, digestible way to meet your daily needs. They come in many forms, whey protein, plant-based protein, collagen, and casein, each with unique benefits. For example, whey is quickly absorbed and great in the morning or post-exercise. Casein digests slowly and works well before bed. Plant proteins are perfect for those who avoid dairy, and collagen helps with skin, joints, and bones. By using supplements, seniors can ensure a steady supply of amino acids throughout the day helping them maintain and even rebuild muscle tissue without relying only on large meals. But is protein alone enough to prevent age-related weakness? Not quite. That's where creatine comes into play. Now let's talk about creatine. Many people believe creatine is just for gym goers trying to bulk up, but that's a myth. Creatine is a natural compound found in your muscles and brain. Your body produces it in small amounts, and you get more from foods like red meat and fish. Creatine's main job is to help your muscles make ATP, which is the energy currency of your cells. So, in simple terms, creatine is your body's power source, especially for those short bursts of strength and activity, like standing up, climbing stairs, or lifting objects. As we get older, our natural creatine stores decline, which can lead to muscle fatigue, slower movement, and, you know, weaker performance, even with the simplest tasks. This is where creatine supplementation really becomes a game changer. Research from the Journal of Gerontology found that older adults who took creatine while doing light resistance exercise gained more muscle and strength than those who just exercised. And even better, creatine doesn't just benefit muscles, it also supports brain health, improves mental clarity, and may even reduce the risk of age-related cognitive decline by improving cellular energy in the brain. 
Plus, unlike protein, you don't need to take it multiple times a day. Just one small scoop, about three to five grams, a day is enough to start seeing improvements in energy and strength within two to three weeks. Now, let's compare them side by side. Protein is the raw material your body uses to rebuild and recover. Without enough of it, your muscles will slowly deteriorate no matter how much you move. It's essential for healing after surgery or illness, and it plays a major role in maintaining bone density and immune function. So, think of protein as the bricks used to build your house. Creatine, on the other hand, is the energy that powers your muscles. It doesn't build the house, it fuels the workers to build it faster and stronger. Without enough creatine, your muscles may feel tired, your movements slower, and your energy drained. It's especially helpful if you feel fatigued, weak, or have difficulty with daily tasks like standing from a chair or carrying groceries. So here's the big question, which one should seniors take? The honest answer is, it depends on your needs. If you're recovering from illness or surgery, losing weight unintentionally, or have trouble eating enough, protein should be your priority. It will help your body recover, support your immune system, and stop your muscles from wasting away. If you feel constantly drained, lack power, or want to enhance your ability to move, walk, or exercise, then creatine is your best bet. It'll improve muscle performance, boost brain energy, and help you stay physically independent for longer. But here's the truth, no one tells you. The best results come when you combine both. That's right, protein and creatine don't compete. They actually work together. When used properly, they help your body build muscle and move it, repair damage and fuel performance, support your brain and body all at once. It's really a powerful duo that can protect your strength, mobility, and quality of life well into your 70s, 80s, and beyond. Now let's address some fears seniors commonly have. Is creatine safe? Yes, dozens of studies confirm that creatine monohydrate is safe for older adults when taken in recommended amounts. It does not harm the kidneys in healthy individuals. However, if you have existing kidney issues, always check with your doctor first. Does protein cause bone problems or constipation? Not at all. In fact, protein actually supports bone density. And if taken with enough water and fiber, it won't cause any digestive issues. So how should you start? Keep it simple. Take one small scoop of creatine, about three to five grams, in the morning with water or juice. No need for a loading phase or complicated cycling. And for protein, aim to get 25 to 30 grams per meal. If you struggle with solid food, use a high quality protein powder in a smoothie or as a snack. Be sure to drink plenty of water, especially if you're taking creatine, as it pulls water into the muscles for better performance. Finally, remember this. Supplements are only effective if you stay consistent. They're not miracle powders. They won't work overnight. But if taken daily, even without intense exercise, they can gradually improve your strength, energy, mobility, and even mental sharpness. And when paired with light daily movement, like walking, chair squats, or yoga, the results can be truly life-changing. If you've made it to this point, it means you're ready to take action, not just gain information. In part one, we explored why seniors lose muscle, how creatine and protein work differently, and why both are crucial tools to support strength, energy, and independence as you age. Now, let's go even deeper. This part of the video will reveal exactly which supplement works better for your specific needs, when to take each, how to avoid common mistakes, and the simple steps to start using them correctly. So, your body can thrive even in your 60s, 70s, and beyond. Let's begin with this question. What is the most urgent health problem you're facing right now? Is it constant tiredness, loss of strength in your legs or arms, difficulty walking without support, or is it brain fog, slow recovery after illness, or weak bones and joints? And the truth is quite all of these signs often point to one root issue. Your body is no longer getting the building blocks and energy it needs to function at its best, and both creatine and protein can help depending on the symptom. So let's break it down symptom by symptom and reveal what's best for you. If you're feeling tired all the time, especially in the morning or even after eating, this might indicate low levels of cellular energy. You may wake up without a spring in your step. Even basic tasks like climbing stairs or walking around the house might leave you exhausted. In this case, creatine is your go-to supplement. It directly helps your cells create ATP, the molecule your muscles and brain use for fuel. 
Creatine won't just give you more energy. It can also improve your balance, reaction time, and coordination, helping you avoid dangerous falls and stay active longer throughout the day. Now let's say your concern is slower recovery, maybe from surgery, a cold, or an old injury. Your skin bruises easily, your wounds take longer to heal, or your body feels sore for days after light activity. These are signs of protein deficiency. You might not be eating enough high-quality protein to give your body the amino acids it needs to repair and rebuild tissues. In this case, a protein supplement is essential. Whether it's whey collagen or a plant-based blend, protein provides your body the raw materials to fix what's broken, grow what's needed, and fight off illness more effectively. Some people experience both problems, low energy and poor recovery, and wonder if they can take both supplements at the same time. The answer is yes. In fact, combining creatine and protein is not just safe, it's scientifically backed. Studies on seniors show that combining creatine with protein and light physical activity significantly improves muscle mass, walking speed, grip strength, and overall functional performance more than using either one alone. And the best part, you don't need to lift heavy weights or hit the gym to see benefits. Even a 15-minute daily walk, a few stretches, or seated resistance exercises can activate these nutrients in your body. So how should you build this into your daily routine? Let's make it simple. Start your morning with a scoop of creatine monohydrate, just three to five grams mixed in water or juice. It's tasteless and dissolves easily. This early dose gives your body the fuel it needs to kickstart your energy, improve mobility, and enhance mental clarity throughout the day. Then, at breakfast, include 25 to 30 grams of protein. You can get this from a protein shake with whey or plant protein, or through whole foods like eggs, Greek yogurt, or cottage cheese. If you struggle with chewing or digestion, protein powders are a gentle and efficient solution. Continue this approach at lunch and dinner, adding another 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal. The key is to spread your protein intake evenly throughout the day. This ensures a steady stream of amino acids in your bloodstream, supporting continuous muscle repair and regeneration. If your appetite is low in the evening, consider a protein-rich soup or a small smoothie with collagen powder before bed. Remember, nighttime is when your body does most of its repairing. Give it what it needs. Let's also address one of the most common mistakes seniors make, not drinking enough water. Not drinking. This is especially important when taking creatine. Creatine works by drawing water into your muscle cells to increase their size, energy, and function. If you're dehydrated, you might experience cramps, digestive discomfort, or bloating. So, make it a habit to drink at least six to eight glasses of water daily, especially if you're adding creatine to your diet. If you're someone who doesn't like plain water, try warm herbal teas, fruit-infused water, or soups to help boost your fluid intake. Durain and Sain and Bidi Cheese Chats. Another mistake? Taking the wrong type of creatine. There are like dozens of fancy formulas on the market. Creatine ethyl ester, creatine HCL, buffered creatine. But honestly, none are better than the simple, affordable creatine monohydrate. It's the most researched, safest, and most effective form. Don't waste your money on hype. Stick with monohydrate and make sure the product is pure. Check that it has no fillers, sugars, or unnecessary additives. For protein, choose a type that suits your digestion. If dairy is a problem, go with plant-based proteins. If your joints hurt or your skin is sagging, collagen protein is a great choice to improve tissue elasticity and joint health. Now, what if you have specific health conditions? Let's go through a few. If you have arthritis or joint pain, collagen protein is a smart addition. It helps repair cartilage, reduce inflammation, and support joint flexibility. Combine that with creatine to increase the energy your muscles need to take pressure off your joints during movement. If you have mild cognitive decline or memory problems, creatine again becomes a hero. It fuels your brain cells, improves neural energy, and may help preserve mental sharpness as you age. If you suffer from muscle weakness in your legs or hands, both protein and creatine are vital. Protein repairs damaged fibers, while creatine helps you generate more force, power, and speed in your movements. This can make everyday tasks like rising from a chair or opening jars easier. And if your concern is osteoporosis or bone density, protein helps maintain the structural integrity of your bones. While resistance activity, triggered by creatine-enhanced energy, improves bone formation and density.
Still worried about side effects? Let's clear that up. Creatine is not harmful to your liver or kidneys if taken in proper doses and if you're healthy. If you have pre-existing kidney disease, always talk to your doctor first. For the majority of seniors, creatine is as safe as drinking a glass of water when taken responsibly. Protein, when taken as part of a balanced diet, does not cause bone loss, kidney damage, or constipation. Again, hydration and variety in your diet are key. Now let's recap a few action steps to simplify everything. Step one, know your daily protein target. Multiply your weight in kilograms by 1.2 to 1.5. That's how many grams of protein you need per day. For example, at 70 kilograms, you need around 90 to 105 grams daily. Step two, take three to five grams of creatine monohydrate once per day. You can take it anytime, but morning is best for consistency. Just mix with water or juice. Step three, spread your protein across meals, 25 to 30 grams at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Use shakes if you're unable to eat full meals. Step four is to drink more water, especially if you're using creatine. Staying hydrated helps you avoid cramps and really lets you get the most benefit from it. Step five is to move a little every day. Now, you don't need any intense exercise, even light chair workouts, a bit of walking or some gentle yoga can help your body actually use the nutrients you're giving it. If you stay consistent with this routine, you'll start to notice improvements within say two to four weeks, like more energy, stronger movements, faster recovery, and honestly, a sense of vitality you probably haven't felt in years. This isn't a marketing pitch, it's real science. Thousands of seniors around the world are using this simple strategy to regain control over their health, extend their independence, and feel confident in their bodies again. And remember, there's no shame in getting help from supplements. They're not magic pills. They're nutritional tools that work best when paired with smart choices. Your body may be aging, but with the right support, it can still be strong, mobile, and mentally sharp. And that's something worth fighting for. So whether you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, or even 80s, it's never too late to support your muscles, feed your brain, and energize your day. Use protein to rebuild. Use creatine to recharge. Use both to reclaim your strength and protect your future. If this video gave you valuable insight, please don't forget to support the channel. Click the like button. It helps more seniors find this life-changing information. Subscribe for weekly videos on health, nutrition, and natural strength after 50. And most importantly, share this video with a friend or loved one. You never know whose life you might change with one simple click. Thank you for watching and remember, your strength doesn't disappear with age unless you let it. Let's age powerfully, 